So, you clicked this video, huh? You're probably dying to know why you weren't supposed to, right? Isn't it funny though how we always end up doing the things that we're told not to do? Don't turn the water on, I'm taking a shower! Ah! It's something we all start doing when we're really young while our parents are trying to teach us what's right from wrong, but we always end up being that rebellious child anyway. Whatever you do, don't play with fire, okay? Fire is very dangerous. Lighters look cool, but they are bad. Bad lighter, bad, bad fire, bad. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you've ever done something you were told not to do. And just a little reminder, you guys all click this video, so. Yes, I know I'm a terrible winker. But there's a lot of things though that we were told not to do as kids that were lies that our parents told us which had terrible consequences if we did them. Like spending too much time in front of the TV will make you go blind. Or drinking coffee will stop you from growing. Or being told you can't go outside with wet hair or else you'll catch a cold. These are all things we were told growing up that aren't really that true. But being told you can't do something and not having a reason why you can't do it immediately triggers this need of wanting to do that thing and trying to figure out the reason behind why you can't do it. If you think about it, there's a lot of mystery in being told not to do something. Dude, thanks again for watching my place while I'm gone. Oh, and one thing, whatever you do, don't go through those boxes that are on the floor. Just, yeah, don't. All right, man, see you when I get back. Now I want to know what's inside the box. Why is it such a secret? It's just a box from Ikea. I have the same one at home. Ooh, I bet he's hiding a dead body in here. I should open it. And then that little voice in your head goes off, like in the cartoons. Don't do it. Come on, can't do it. No, there's probably a good reason why you should. No, open don't it. listen to that loser. Just go ahead and open the box. No, no, do it. Do it. You know what you want. Don't just do it. Lady says just don't. do it. So do it. No, don't do it. shut up. No. And a lot of times, if attention wasn't drawn to it, we would probably have no desire to actually do it because we wouldn't even know or care about what it was. But because it was pointed out, curiosity always sets in and it's our human instinct to find out why. Especially if the consequences are pretty minimal and not life-threatening. Like, what's the worst that could happen if I press the big red button? I just wanna know why every big red button is a button that we can't press with a sign that says, do not press button. I mean, there's always a whole bunch of little small buttons too that are mixed in there, but you never wanna press the small button. You always wanna press the big button. The people who make these buttons are just trying to torture us. What's something you've been told not to do, but you've done it anyway? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can follow me on all my social media. All my links are below. But thank you so much for watching. Stay fresh, keep smiling, and I will see you guys all next time.